With COVID numbers rising across our state, those increases are hitting close to home here at Vidant Medical Center. The system is seeing a positivity rate of 32.1%, a nearly 350% increase since the beginning of December. Not in your sides, Aaron Jenkins listened in on Vidant's press conference today where they gave you some updated numbers. Aaron, how many patients are they treating with COVID? Courtney, as of this week, they have 147 inpatients with COVID. 40 of those patients are in critical care units and most are unvaccinated. It's a trend that's putting a major strain on our health care systems. The volume that we're seeing today is the highest by far that we've seen uh, throughout this pandemic. It's a plea. Do your part to vaccinate, wear a mask, socially distance, stay home if you have minor symptoms and help us work through this crisis together. Vidant officials are asking this because the hospitals are strained. Our team members and our physicians are part of the community in the surge. And so as they're unable to work because they're on quarantine or, or because they themselves are sick. Right now, the surge is caused by the contagious Omicron variant. Some early data shows that it might be as high as three times more likely or more infectious than even Delta. Which, which, is, which is really impressive. When you have a lot more people getting infected, it's gonna to lead to a lot more hospitalizations. One of the largest factors leading to hospitalizations, vaccination status. It's not rocket science. It's, I'm looking at the numbers, you know, 33 of 34 patients in the ICU were unvaccinated and 16 of 17 on ventilators were unvaccinated. I mean, I think let that speak for itself. And more hospitalizations of COVID-19 patients means less resources for other emergencies. The impact of COVID-19 goes far beyond just what is happening to patients who are sick with COVID-19. When we see this significant surge in caring for patients with COVID-19, it also stresses our system uh, for those that have other conditions, many of which are far more emergent and critical. As Floyd said, one way to help ease the strain on healthcare system is to get a vaccine, but you can also help by not flooding emergency rooms and finding another place to get a COVID test. We have a list of Vidant testing sites on our website, WNCT.com. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thank you.